Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech. And today I want to show you a new ROM for the MK808. Uh, I've got Cyanogen Mod 10 on here, and uh, I'll show you how it looks and uh, what you can expect. So let's go ahead and get started. So after flashing the ROM, you're going to have uh, this screen on the first boot up and choose Reboot System Now. And once you reboot, you should see the Cyanogen Mod logo and a Google TV logo. Uh, wait for that while it kind of configures and loads up for the first time. Here's what you'll see once you boot up into Cyanogen Mod 10. It's basically a lock screen from a tablet. And I have to warn you, this is kind of an experimental ROM still, so there's a few errors and things, but uh, slide to unlock. And let's see, oh, we got a camera error here, just OK, and then it runs pretty stable after that. Uh, so I'm going to use a default launcher, which is Trebuchet. And you can see it's uh, pretty much a minimalist uh, launcher. Not a whole lot of stuff when you when you start it. In fact, I've installed most of these apps later myself, uh, including this. It's fully rooted, so you can install this reboot app. Here's the applications that come on there, and, I, and the ones that I added also. You've got Apollo Launch or Apollo Music Player, which is kind of cool, and a couple other different things. So I always put Go Launcher HD on my. Android Mini PCs is actually a tablet version of Go Launcher, but it just makes things so much easier and quicker to configure. You can just add apps to wherever you want, create folders like really quick on Go Launcher HD. So, and my favorite thing is you can increase the size of the icons, which uh, to me makes it a lot easier for a TV when you're far away. It's nice to be able to see those big icons. So, uh, I definitely recommend Go Launcher HD. It's free. So let's take a look at the CPU performance. So you can see here it goes up to 1.4 gigahertz dual core. Um, I think it's clocked down a little bit, you know, for stability on these experimental ROMs. Next up, Linpack, just a basic benchmark of the CPU. So uh, run it. Gets a 61, which is pretty good for uh, considering this ROM. It's kind of standard for the MK808, so I'm happy with that. It's all over the place, though, anywhere from 30 to 60 something. And here you can see the software version. I'm running 4.12, but 4.2 is available on the website cm3066.com. I'll put a link in the description below. After I got it configured, I changed some settings around, got my Wi-Fi working, and the App Store does work on here. Uh, it, the first boot up, it will be a little bit slow, but it does work. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that Cyanogen Mod 10 is working on the MK808 and it will be supported on uh, Rock Chip 3066 devices. I'll be doing update videos on this and other ROMs on my channel, so make sure and subscribe to get those updates. And uh, give me a like, that'll help me out a ton if you could do that. And as always, thanks for watching and aloha.